Welcome to CA's Daily Touchpoint. My name is Lindsay and we are in a new book this week. We are in Acts and the writer of Acts is Luke. So he wrote the Gospel of Luke and now, and that was all about like the stories of Jesus. And now we're seeing kind of Jesus's ministry continue on in Acts and the stories of the early church and how this message that Jesus gave to the disciples is going out to the nations, is going out to the world. And I'm I love the book of Acts. There's so there's so much to learn, to understand about the things that they face, that we face, and how to apply those things to bringing Jesus's message to the world today. And so if you have your Bible, we're in Acts chapter six today. So grab your Bible. I'm just going to start in verse one and see what maybe the Lord has for us today in this touch point and from this chapter. Uh, in those days when the number of disciples was increasing, so the church is building, like people are coming to, to know the Lord to, as the Savior, as the Messiah. They're getting involved and everything's growing. And it's interesting because as we're kind of coming out of a pandemic, as we're coming back to our church buildings, to our church gatherings and, and opportunities to be involved, our church is kind of coming back to life, coming out of the pandemic. And so the... The numbers of disciples are increasing. The Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the Hebrewic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. And so we see here, you know, as, as you're reading through Acts and like the things that are coming at the church, the persecutions, the, the confusions, we've seen the enemy trying to, to come against them, to... Uh, bring problems their way. But here we're seeing the enemy starting to divide and trying to turn them against each other. And to say like, look at, this is unfair. And as, as more people are getting involved, it's harder to communicate. It's harder to see those things through. And so now we see the enemy trying to disrupt the believers, the new early church by turning them against each other. So the 12 gathered all the disciples together and said, so this is how they handled that. This is what they did. This is how they came up with a solution. The 12 gathered all the disciples together and said, it would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven men among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom. We will then turn this responsibility over to them. And so we see that they say, listen, there is so many ministries happening. There's so much going on that we need other people to step into leadership, to take ownership of this specific problem we have. And caring for the widows is very important and caring for those who are in need. And I, I read in a commentary today that they chose seven men because of the days of the week. Like we need someone to be in charge of this every day of the week. And so we need seven qualified, um, good integrity people to to lead this specific ministry. And as I think of, of the season we find ourselves in coming out of pandemic, you know, the opportunity to say yes, to get involved, to to be someone who greets at the Sunday service, to be someone who says yes to leading a life group, to someone who says yes to being a part of a life group. Like we have this opportunity now to to get back involved, to step into these roles of, of being the church, of bringing the good news to those around us. And so just like they did here, they found people who were ready and willing to say yes to the needs of the church, yes to the needs of, of what God was doing, caring for the widow. And I want to encourage you, CA, like what is the thing that God is inviting you to say yes to, to get involved with the skills you have, to the things that you're passionate about? I know for me, serving in the pantry every month has been so life-giving because I'm getting to say yes to this need, to helping, to serving. And where can you say yes and get involved in the way that the church is coming alive, coming back out of a pandemic? Let's pray. God, I just thank you for your truth that you have a role, a purpose for every person in your story, in your community, and in your church. God, I pray that you would lay on our hearts the areas, the, the specific ministries that you want us to be a part of. God, I thank you for your love for the widow and your care for those who are in need. God, would you reveal yourself more to us as in the early church when they were assigning these 
roles and opportunities, God, would you lead us into the things you have for us? It's in your name we pray. Amen. CA, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you next week.